Hey, Morgan. Hey. Where are we going? The Rockies game. So here we are at the light rail station. We are getting ready to go to the Rockies game. And here we go. And then we're on our way to the Rockies game. And we've decided to do the light rail. And let's cross, cross, cross. Here's the D line. Very conveniently getting here. At the same time, we are getting here. And aboard we go. Doors are closing. Okay, so we bought our tickets online. So we're gonna go into our lovely app here and we're gonna activate the tickets. Boom. And there we are. And then it tells you when the tickets expire. And for Morgan, we get to do the student because she's under the age of 19. And now we have our RTD tickets. We didn't have to go to the kiosk to buy them. We did them right through the app. Denver makes it way easy to do mass transit. I do love that about there. How excited are we? Going to the Rockies game. Very excited. We okay. actually get to uh, watch watch the Rockies play the Diamondbacks from Arizona, and we're gonna whoop them this time because that's our biggest rival for sure, right? So, and of course here we are on the RTD train. It's no uh, it's no monorail at Disney, you know, because well there's no you know portable motor in Texas, Alejandro de las Puertas, but True. it's close enough. But we do get to avoid parking downtown, which is kind of nice. Absolutely. Okay. And we just get to conveniently go. We're on the D-line that does mean we're going to have to switch trains to get to Union Station to get downtown to walk to the stadium. But yay, here we go. And I'm so super excited. So I love my Rockies. Okay, fine. I have Figment. The Figment is the right color. You but don't have a Colorado Rockies jersey like Morgan. He's like sporting the nice on some jersey. So this way we're getting Disney no matter where we are, right? True. That is <laughs> us. So I'm bored. I hope you have a great time with us today when we're at the Rockies game. We can't wait to get there. Woohoo! So we're, uh, we're here at the Broadway station, just uh, waiting to get on another train. Bye -bye, Mom. And uh, then we'll be heading over. There's downtown Denver. That's where we're going. That's where the ballpark is. Going down. Forest Field. I'll tell you what, that view never gets old right there. It's a good looking city. Downtown Denver. Guys, as we come around here, you're going to be able to see Village Gardens. It's kind of like Six Flags, but you're in Denver. Right downtown. Really cool. There's the observation tower there on the right. And there's all the roller coasters. This is definitely the time of year to be going to Eagles Gardens for sure. They do concerts every Saturday night. So much fun. We've got an old time wooden roller coaster there. In fact, if you guys are skillet fans, they're actually playing their Saturday 8th. There's the Pepsi Center above the Avalanche. Colorado Avalanche. And if you're riding the light rail when you're in town, just know that the Pepsi Center and the Village Garden exit for the light rail, the RTD light rail train. The, the Pepsi Center and the Elitch Garden Station is the same. Speaking of the Pepsi Center. Yeah. Yeah. And there's the Elitch Gardens. Not a great view, but... Big train anyway. We actually cross up and over from the Pepsi Center to get there. 
Now the next stop is Union Station. I can't wait to show you guys around Union Station. Such a beautiful, beautiful train station. Hey, Mom. We're here in Special. Yeah. All right, guys. So we just got off the light rail. We're heading over to Union Station now. Um, we'll see. Uh, get to show you guys around there and actually get to get to see inside of it. Normally we just go around, just run around and just head straight to the to the ballpark. But today we're going to take you guys through it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to show it off to you. I will say that Denver is definitely an animal friendly city. So we're almost up on Union Station, but I gotta show you guys, this is just so picturesque right here. I gotta, I gotta show it to you here. Look at that. What a gorgeous, gorgeous station. Now, if you guys are ever coming from the airport, you will actually come in on the A-Line, and the A-Line, and the A-Line will actually run you right to Union Station. So you will actually come in right here, and then you can transfer from here to wherever you're going. But you are at Union Station. And you're literally <laughs> at the end of the line. <laughs> now Union Station is also right next to 16th Street, uh, which has the 16th Street Mall, which is absolutely incredible with restaurants and shops. So much to do. All walkable. You can walk right down the middle of the street. And they have the free mall ride, which is a, just a bus that runs you up and down. Oh, here comes the A-Line right now from the airport. See if I can get a shot of that for you guys. There you go. Coming right to the end of the line. About to go right inside. I love this. Just like Disney does, Denver will also reimagine from time to time. Here we go. All right, it's kind of loud in here, but here you guys go. Look at this. Now you can actually stay here, so you can actually, these are hotel rooms up top. I have no idea how much it costs, but you're definitely staying in some luxury here. And then of course you got all of the little boutiques and coffee stands. There is a restaurant and full bar. And then of course you got the little train station seats. You can just chill and wait. Look how gorgeous those chandeliers are. This is definitely old school. I'm really glad we got to bring you guys along today and really just kind of show everything off. Hey, go ahead and hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'd love to be able to share more of these videos with you guys. So I was telling you guys about the hotel that's in here and just showing you around the balcony, but it's actually called the Crawford Hotel. So that's actually where you're staying. And this is where you check in. Here we are, all the masses running to the Rockies game. Love the sea of purple. There it is, Coors Field, everybody. Blue Moon actually has its brewery right here at the stadium. 
which Blue Moon is a part of course. I just, I always think, you know, the beer that you're getting at the Coors Field is just coming up right from the, you know, the big kegs themselves. It's being, it's being actually just, you know, flow, flowing in right from the, the Colorado Rockies. It's not. It's delivered here just like it is everywhere else. But it's fun to imagine. Beautiful stadium. All right, guys, we are in. It is uh, very loud, so I hope you can hear me. But here we go. We are heading up the steps. I just love this part. It's just full of suspense, especially when you haven't been in a while. You're walking up the steps. You know you're about to see the ballpark, but you can't see it just yet. And then there it is. That's the rock file seats. Super, super cheap seats right now, at least at the time of filming. Mm, cotton candy. Wow. Guys, I wish you could smell this right now. It smells like baseball. Cotton candy, popcorn, peanuts. Cracker Jacks, it's just perfect. The weather is, I can't believe it, the weather is just perfect right now. But here we are, guys. We are in left field. Look at this. I mean, Hey guys, I know it's really hard to hear me, but here's just kind of a map real quick of the stadium. But the other thing I wanted to show you here real quick, there is a gluten-free food section at 143. So if you're coming to the ballpark here at Coors Field, there is gluten-free. I hope you guys could hear all of that. So guys, this is the gluten-friendly booth right here. Just to kind of show you kind of where it's at. You guys can see here the sections. Anyways, let's take a look at their menu here for sure. Liz is in heaven right now. This is awesome. Ooh, look at that screen. When they hit a home run, all the water fountains over there go off. All right, guys, Aaron Otto's up. Here we go. Come on, Nolan. You know you're good if you got a theme song. Guys, this is, when you go to a Rockies game, you gotta watch the Comfort Dental Toothpaste, Toothbrush, and Tooth Race. Here we go. Here we go, which one's gonna win? I'm thinking Toothbrush. I'm thinking Toothbrush is gonna make it back. He's gonna make it back. He's making the turn. He's making the turn. You gotta brush those teeth. Come on, baby. Come on, the tooth is winning. Come on, come on, get in there, get in there, Toothbrush. Yeah! Bases are loaded. Nolan Arenado up the bat. Two outs. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a double at Blake Hunt. That is a single. But we have two runs in. We have now tied the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Nolan Arenado has tied the ball game. Nolan Al Tapia is up to bat. Winning run is at second. There it goes, there it goes. Rockies are going to win. Rockies are going to win. Rockies won. 
Good job, Rockies. That was a great game. Four to three, the bottom of the 11. The best people to share it with. That was definitely an intense game. An intense game, for sure. Well, family, what'd you think of the, uh, the Rockies game? We won. We did win. We got kind of robbed on that home run, and then we won. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we should have won like with, like with the home run, and then it, they only counted it as a double. So, but then we ended up, yeah. But... The next guy had a you know a good base hit and uh, uh, in Desmond in Desmond uh, rounded second or rounded third and came on home and we won so Yay! it was a great game and uh, excellent game uh, it was so fun to share it with you guys so when we talk about uh, the Coors Field Stadium being downtown um, this is what we mean we are downtown I don't know how much more downtown we could be. That was our trip to the Rockies game here. All, be, 11, in, all 11 innings of it. <laughs> yeah, all 11 innings. Uh, bottom of the, of, of the 11th, we finally won. It was a great game. Glad to take you guys along and share it with you. Um, please go ahead and like the video. And also go ahead and subscribe to our channel, Fun Fiera, if you haven't already. Uh, we'd love to share the uh, more adventures with you guys in the future. And, of course, you know, all the Disney stuff that we have coming your way as well. But until next time, get out there, have some fun, and we'll see you on the flip side.